What's ironic is this vlog isn't going to be really more about YouTube, but it's going to be more about Steam It. Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And today we're doing another vlog of a small YouTuber. I don't even know what the episode number is. This is, by the way, I just decided to record this, I don't know why. But I want to tell you guys what I have been doing. What's ironic is this vlog isn't going to be really more about YouTube, but it's going to be more about Steam It. As you guys know, I started a Steam It vlog about a month ago, and it's been growing tremendously, actually. Um, I took, I had a little bit of Bitcoin laying around, so I invested some in Steam, but I've already made, like, my first month on Steam It, I made, like, around $20, and I've gained, like, 64 followers. I'm like, dang, what am I doing right on this platform? But... It's been interesting balancing Steam It with YouTube. It's been quite an interesting juggle, actually, because um, I do my vlogging, or I do my videos for YouTube, and I put most of my videos on Steam It. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to put my videos up there, and you know, on the days that I don't upload to DTube, I'm going to do this. And it's just all falling apart to where I think I make a couple posts on Steam It a day, and one video and maybe a live stream on YouTube. Sometimes I actually live stream on Steam It on DLive. And for those of you that have been like, I want to donate but I can't, just make a Steam It account and upvote stuff on uh, Steam It. Because a Steam It upvote is actually worth a tiny bit of money. But like I said, it's been very interesting juggling an entire another platform worth of content along with YouTube videos because the way Steam it works it encourages you to just comment on everything and learn new things write as many posts as possible and I've been kind of writing and commenting and reading articles as well as watching YouTube videos making my YouTube videos doing work and live streaming and it's kind of almost re I guess you it'd be reinvigorated me wanting to make videos again and it's, it's, it's done it in an interesting way is I just want to make more stuff, right? Like, I don't want to upload more. I'm just like, I wake up and I want to make something, right? Before it was like, eh, I wake up and I'm really just making this thing because I'm self-disciplined. But then I start making it and I'm like, oh, I really like this. Why don't I want to do it every day, right? Like, I didn't want to make videos every day, but when I started... There was a point where I'd be like, oh yeah, I want to start making videos today. And all of a sudden, doing a different platform with different rules and different things to learn, I'm really like, I wake up and I don't even got to make something. I'm like, I'm, I want to make something today. And it, it's, it's a very interesting kind of balance. And it's going to be interesting to see where it goes. I can actually see if the Steam blockchain and the Steam, the app developers for the Steam actually play their cards right they could potentially compete with like youtube or reddit or twitch but i don't see that happening in i could see it happening maybe in like 10 years but not like the next year or the year after so i mean that platform it, it's got less potential but i like the culture there a lot more one of the things on Steam It that I really like is when you comment, someone can upvote your comment. Someone can like it. And as I just said, likes are worth some money, right? And you don't have to pay a thing. You can look it up. It's, it's easy to understand, but just know a like is money. So it's kind of a way to make it so people don't write mean comments. And it also, I noticed like no one criticizes or question someone's ideas and it's very interesting to watch because in the comment section of basically everything all the comments are really nice right and that's good you know I earning money via being nice I think is something that is amazing that someone can pull it off and someone's pulling it off right but what's really kind of interesting is in the comment sections there's a lot of, I agree with what you said. 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 And I'm like, um, okay. 
I guess I'll be the voice that dis disagrees. And you know, I try to disagree in a polite way. Um, someone recently made a video, or I made a post about like leaving YouTube or something and you shouldn't do that. And someone disagreed with me and I politely disagreed and they politely disagreed and it was fine. All right, it was completely fine. And it's like, criticism is welcome on the platform. There's literally this, okay, so the live streaming service called DLive, which by the way, I stream there sometimes. I know I said that. It's a very weird streaming there actually. But the DLive people, right? So because DLive has so much of this steam, you know, the more steam you have, the more your likes are worth more. And DLive is like, so we're gonna run a contest and everyone can only compete in this one time, but you have to write a post. And if you write a post called better, tag it better D Live, and you tell us, you know, this, that basically you give a, a criticism article, you write a criticism article to help D Live improve their product. They're like, we'll give you a 15% to, I think it was 30% upvote, right? And so it's about like $200. That's like the low end, okay? The high end is like $350, $400. That's a, a like for writing an article criticizing the platform. DLive literally will like your stuff so you earn like a couple Benjamins. Okay? Like, I think I did the math. And if they, if they did between like 15 and 30, so that would be what, like 22.5? It's like 250, right? And it doesn't cost them a dime. It, I'm just like, okay. I mean, I wrote it, and the nice thing about Steam is there's no rules. But I want to tell you guys this. A lot of people on DTube and Steam It talk about leaving YouTube and abandoning YouTube because YouTube doesn't care about their creators anymore. And I disagree heavily with that on both fronts, actually. I think that YouTube takes care of its creators a lot. And I think that leaving YouTube is stupid because YouTube has the biggest access to an audience. And I'm like, guys, YouTube has a billion, was it a billion monthly users versus Steam It, I think it's got like 50,000 dailies. And I know YouTube definitely has more than 50,000 daily users. So don't go running off of YouTube just yet. It's probably gonna happen eventually. But <laughs> it's an interesting vlog today. I just wanted to talk about how I'm doing right now. I'm having a great time on Steemit actually. And if you guys hop over there, you can comment and you know, like farming is appreciated because there's no rules yet, okay? You can actually all like each other's stuff and, you know, build up a community of stuff that, you know, encourage conversation with each other. Because, you know, I, I feel like on YouTube, there's, like, there's not a lot of hate, but when you give someone an incentive to be nice and really think about what they're saying, I think that makes us all smarter as people. So, I'm, you know, I'm gonna say this in this vlog, try out Steemit. I like Steemit. Um, you can just look it up, steemit.com. By the way, C-Rock, the subscribe, a subscriber told me about Steemit, it's amazing. So thank you, C-Rock, but that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for vlogs of a small YouTuber because I am a small YouTuber like you and I vlog about it and you can see that you're not alone. I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, vlog or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.